Hey, what's going on, guys? King B here. All right. Now, as you saw in the video, as you saw in the video, all right, uh, as you saw in the video title, yes, I will be teaching you how to make a trap, how to make a dispenser trap that first, I think I'll put arrows in it first, that shoots out arrows, and then I'll show you how to make one that shoots out um, fire charges. And I will also teach you how to use the fill command. Anyway, now we need to find a nice place to be. Oh, crap! Where'd my house go? Oh. It's a different world. Don't be alarmed, anybody. Everybody. Anyway, it's not. Look, let's just, let's just get started. <sighs> Right, so I gotta change my video to first person. First person. So now I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. So now I'm gonna get myself this. Don't worry, people, it's not needed. I just like having them and dumber. And Minecraft makes me feel happy about myself. So how about we make a nice little obsidian, obsidian house that will make the trap in, right? Then we better grab some dispensers. It's a trick, it's a trip wire hook trap, okay? So you gotta grab the trip wire hook, gotta get um, some string, almost forgot the string, can't be myself, I'm so sorry. And of course, you're gonna need dispensers. And um, now you can, now I'm going to show you how to make the one for fire charges later. Where's the fire charge? Oh yeah, here's the fire charge. And then I'll show you, I'll first show you the one for arrows. Use tip or how about an, you, you might as well want, you should want to use like an arrow of poison or an arrow of, an arrow of uh, harmony, yeah. All right. And now, so let us start. You, got, you just got to find a nice plain place to build. Large, lovely, wonderful. See where I'm going with this? So let's say, let's build it like right here. Now what you're gonna need right now, I'm going to give you time. What you need is a piece of paper and a pen or just anything on which you can write information down and anything, yeah, okay. So yeah, you gotta get that because you're gonna write some numbers coordinates now me i like to have my well done show coordinates for these kind of stuff that's why i always have it on show coordinates but it, it, you can put your well to show coordinates then you'll see this thing right here this thing, this thing these are my coordinates you can put your well done show coordinates or you can do this you can for a moment. <laughs> okay, maybe I was going a little over there. Um, I'll be back. Okay, okay. Wait. Alright, so if you don't have coordinates, that's fine. What you can do, like, we're going to make our base, like, yeah, in the ground, actually. I'm gonna make the base inside the ground, inside the ground. How the heck are skeletons here at deep? You know what? Hold on, I need to set this world to peaceful. Okay, okay, the world is set to peaceful. So what you're gonna do is like, you can, you can do this. You can go here, click this, 
and then set world spawn. It will show your coordinates. Set the world spawn point to 1072. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write down those coordinates like fast. This one we're making is underground, but you can choose to make it overground if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to write these coordinates down. 63 and 1166. One, so then what we're going to do is we're going to build it from there to there. This is the base, remember. Remember that. This is the base. All right, so from here to here. Right. And then what you're going to do, you can, like, do this thing again where you, like, do this. You gotta, you the way you do that, set world spawn, go, and then, and then let it show you too. Let it show you your coordinates. Mine, as I've seen, are, are one, zero, six, zero, six, three, and one, eight, three. So what so what we're going to do is we're going to hold on let me set this to always day. Okay, so now it's always it's always day. The wind cycle is locked. The world is on peaceful. Now we can proceed with this tutorial already. All right. So you're going so you wrote your coordinates down, right? So then what you're going to do is what am I do? What you're gonna do is you're going to click the chat thing. Then you're going to you're going to go to chat and type slash the slash here. Then you're gonna write fill. You're gonna type in fill. Then you write your coordinates like the first ones and the last ones like this. Like mine were one zero. Seven two six three one six six. Then you're gonna write one zero six zero. That, no, no, I mean, like, you're not gonna write this exactly this, but you're gonna write your coordinates. These are mine, the first ones and the last ones. Then one one eight. Three. And then, you know what? I'm not going to use obsidian instead. I just realized for the tripwire hook, the, the string blends in well with stone. So we're going to use stone. We're gonna, you're going to type in stone. I, which, yeah, yeah. You're gonna type in stone, and then you're gonna go next. It filled it with stone, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, whoever is watching. So then, so then you wanna do it. You want to do it like vertically, like going up. Sure, I can help you with that. So basically. So then what you're going to do, let's say I want to build a wall from here to there, right? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these coordinates down. You can do the set world thing if you don't have your world on show coordinates, right? All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type these coordinates. Once, oh, no, wait. I already, I already wrote these. Uh, but, like, it changed the look. Just write them again. One zero seven two six four one six six. Then, since what I'm doing is I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna write these coordinates.
you need to make sure you're like on the right block right right block you want to build up all right so i am in place and now i'm going to type in these coordinates i mean write down these coordinates one zero seven two six four one eight three <coughs> so now what you what you oh no wait i made a mistake um like depending on the height you want to go up to you can go up to um like very high and then you, you change the middle one my mistake you're gonna change the middle one because the other ones won't be affected the middle one is like the height so then i'm gonna write seven one zero seven two seven zero seven zero and then one eight three right so then what it's what it's gonna do like each coordinate i think it means like one block all right so what then what then you gotta do is you're going to go to the chat again to do the same thing wait this video is gonna be Okay, so then you're gonna type in the slash. Then you're going to use the fill command again. You write down, you type, you, you type in those coordinates. You can write down and type in. I'm so sorry. Forgive me for that. My coordinates are these. And then the last coordinates are. You're gonna write is the block you want to fill it with like medium like height. So now I'm gonna write stone again. Next and well wait. Oh I'm sorry I didn't type it next. Okay, look, hold on. Alright, people's recording again. So yeah, you're gonna type in those coordinates. And then you're going to write in the block you want to build with minus stone. Then click next. 126 blocks filled. And you see it filled up vertically. Now I think it's time I show you how to how to do this, how to like make the trap. So first off I'm, I gotta before I make the trap I need to like make it like probable. Proper, proper. Let me just get some stone, and then, and then sometimes I I don't really I don't always use the fill command for my build. All right, so look, I'll just fill this up naturally, and I'll be right back. Welcome to my domain. Now, now, like I. I I managed to fill this part like it was more important that I fill it so that I show you how to it. But I I don't wanna just fill that part like it's just too much. I used the fill command on this side though, but then I used my bare hands to build here. Anyway, so you want a trap that when you enter like when an enemy enters, they'll just enter without even looking to the side and they'll enter. They'll be like, I want them rubies and I want them, I want the sweet minerals, right? So then you want them, you want them to get hurt, right? Obviously. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't watch it, be watching this video. Unless you just wanted to watch it for the fill thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to place a tripwire hook. Yeah, I think I'm going to place it there, you know, to be a little more secure. And then they should be, like, aligned with each other. You see? Then you're going to place string down going to the other tripwire hook. Continue placing string.
You know how you know it has worked? It will work if you hear this sound as you place the last three. And that happens. You see, now they're like attached, you see. So then every time somebody starts on it, it will be like. Of course, maybe they could jump it. Let me see. I think it's possible to jump. Where is it? Where is there? Okay. It's very hard to jump over it, for me at least. And your enemy won't be suspecting it. But like, who's gonna just come into a place and then they think, oh, maybe it's trapped, maybe it's booty trapped. Because this is probably your first time, so you're probably like, ah, he's a me. No offense, but it's true. Yeah, so like, what you're gonna do is you see, the tripwire hook is activated. Every time you step on it, it's like this. What you're going to do is, I think you got to, I believe, you might need some redstone for this, actually. Let me get my redstone, redstone, redstone. Where's my redstone? Redstone, redstone. Going to get my redstone? Yeah, not block of redstone, like redstone. Face over my door there. So then, I think hopefully they won't see it. Like maybe you could use a red block for the redstone so that they wouldn't see it. Because you're probably trying to protect your base, right? Wait, first of all, if I step on it, does it? Yeah. See if it steps. If you step on it. If somebody steps on it, the redstone will activate. Now, I don't think anybody will be able to see this that easily. I mean, come on, let's be real. It's kind of hidden. Now, first we're going to use the arrows. Let's put a couple in here. And a bunch in here. So then... You heard that, that is because I activated the trap and it shot out arrows. So that what's, what it's going to be like is this, look. Let me show you. For example, I want some dirt. Ooh, what's this? Is your house and then it's just some stuff and who's who's reading? I don't think you're gonna notice that. If what you're gonna do is like they're gonna walk. See, arrows are going to shoot out. Arrows are going to shoot out. Now, if you want it to be like a little more secretive, then you can try to hide this the trip wire hook a little bit. Maybe just a little. Try our best, but without without blocking anything, all right? Because let's be honest, who's really going to come in and then you're gonna be like, ooh, a trip wire hook. Look, it, look, it's a trip wire hook. If it does, it's a trip wire hook trap. If it doesn't work for you, you can try watching another video. Maybe it'll give you some better tips. Maybe you could try to hide it like a little like that. Make sure they don't they don't know what they're walking into. For example, let's use a hallway. Yeah, a hallway. For example, it's like it starts off to be a hallway and then So then look, so then they'll be walking unsuspecting hallway stuff. Then they, the moment they walk on, they get hit. Now, for a, for a um, fire charge, for a fire charge, it's not even that, it's not different. You just do the same trap, but the only difference is you... You, you replace the arrows with fire charges. You put fire charges instead of at all. See, fire charges. That's what happens when you've got 
custom fire charges. Yeah, so then it could be like that. Somebody walks in. Doo -doo -doo. If it's a Minecraft pro entering the house, they'll probably notice the tripwire hook trap, okay? So that so then this person's going to enter. I need to sneak into the secret base. I need to I need to sneak into this house and steal this guy's stuff. So we take from the door and then they'll be like Huh. Like they probably wouldn't see that coming, so they'll be like eh, noobs. This is what will happen when they walk. You see that? Fire charges were aimed. You see that? Fire let's let's look at that one. Let's look at one of them, alright? See that one there? That one there shoots out fire charges. Shoots out fire charges. Ow! Maybe you can put like a bunch of dispensers or something. Like if you want to be extra secure. I think it might work if you like do this. Will it work? Does that exit? Does that work on it? Okay, so that stone does not activate. So, what you could do is like you could go around the back right here. It's gonna be. The wire hook is like here, right? It. Is it? Is it? Oh, the slip wire hook is here. So, yeah, so then you're gonna go. You can go like. Out, you can go out back. Where you keep on forgetting where the trip wire hook is? It's here, right? Yeah, it's here. Right. That's a farmer. Don't mind him. I just like spawning by villages. Right? But I think if you take. Is it possible, like, if you put some redstone, would it work? Mm. Alright. To see if it works, I'm gonna drop an item on the screen. I just got these items, I don't really need it anymore. Perfect. That's perfect. It will work. So then I believe you get. I want to see if I can put a bunch of dispensers like that and if it will work. Wait, I need conducting, I need like material to, for it, for the redstone to like go through. So I'm just gonna go and take some wool. It conducts it like through. I use some light gray wool, light gray wool, good. Like, will it, will it work? Does it blend? That's good enough for me. Oh, this blends in too well. Way too well. I even almost forgot about it. So let's try putting a bunch of a bunch of dispensers like here.
when is the block kick in? It blends in too well. Look, I'm just gonna fill it up with the gap today. Then I'll get some fire charges, some fire fire charges, fire charges, fire charges. I'll stack on bunch a bunch of fire charges. That will help. I'll get um fire charges. So that look that one. We'll give it that, that one, that, that one, that, that one, that. That one, that. That one, that. Oh. What am I doing? Forgive me, I have... I don't have a very good memory. Alright, so now... Check this out. Every time... Like, when a person gets in, once you've set that, once you've made that set up, um, I like, I like using fire charges, but I forgot to make it in my house, so... So now look at those dispensers. Ah. I'm sorry people, it didn't work. Anyway, the point is this I need a more redstone. Where's my redstone? How long have I been recording for? 27 minutes, that's a long time. Sorry, but you need to make these tutorials work perfectly. You see that? You see? Did you see how many people? I <laughs> people. I hate that you guys said people. Did you see how many? How many of? Will it, will it, will it, will it done work with all? Um. Okay, guys. So that didn't work, but I pretty much showed you how to make a football hook trap. Like you can, you can check more videos from other people to see how they do it. If you want, like a very a longer one. So that concludes my video. That concludes my video today, and that is a wrap. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, and press that and, and, and press that notifications bell to get notified on um, more videos like this. Might be Minecraft tutorials. Maybe I'll be adding to that other world that I was on last time. Who knows? But I guess I'll see you guys later. And be true to yourself. I don't know what I just look anyway goodbye that is a wrap goodbye I'll see you next time I'll see you next time my, my peoples I'll see you next time I talk a lot bye love y'all and thank you for watching the video